Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Um, how are you? T from tarlamakayab.com. I really kind of pushed this video to last minute, so I apologize. So it's going to be kind of quick. And I'm going to have to come back and do follow-up videos anyway. However, I wanted to share the revolutionary treatment that I'm doing for anxiety. Let me preface this by saying, please don't inbox me with any CBD solutions. Um, I want to make it very clear. I love CBD. I'm not a CBD hater or anything like that. CBD is great for anyone with mild anxiety and depression. Um, however, when things get a little bit more progressive and it becomes more moderate to severe anxiety, that's where it may not help some people. I am one of those people. So CBD is great. I took some this morning, not hating on the CBD. Don't want to be inboxed any CBD because I will tell you, I've tried four different brands of CBD. Uh, I'm not taking the wrong quantity. I'm not taking the wrong strength. I'm not taking ones that are not full spectrum. I've been to dispensaries. They are the experts on CBD over anybody else who sells it online, who actually just read a brochure and has no background knowledge. Okay, not putting any CBD down or people down. I'm just saying like, I've been to the experts. I know what to do regarding CBD. It does work to a certain degree, but not enough. And I got to the point where my anxiety has become somewhat crippling. I'm able to get stuff done, but every morning when I wake up, I am completely like stressed under my skin. I'm sick of feeling that way. Um, and also I'm gonna add that I do other modalities like acupuncture, and that hasn't helped enough. Nothing against acupuncture, love that. Massage, same thing, love it chiropractic, all these things, EMDR therapy is amazing. They're all amazing. But I have heard other stories of people like me that when they're doing that, it's just simply not enough. It helps, but not to the fullest degree that could be possible, right? So, so excuse me, I went searching for something to, to basically fix this problem for myself. Um, and the problem I found is not gonna be in a bottle of pills, not in a bottle of CD and CBD, and let me explain why just really quickly. Again, they're great things, I'm not putting them down. I just want you to understand, those are external uh, solutions. It's like taking a bottle, it's not the same, but I'm saying if you take a bottle of pharmaceutical pills or you take a bottle of natural supplements, the same thing's happening. You're using an external force to try and change yourself internally. That's why you're never gonna get long-term results and you're gonna have to continue taking, if it's pharmaceuticals or natural, whatever it is, to maintain those results. That's the problem. With both of those, you have to take continuous and unending uh, quantities because your body acclimates. My body acclimated to CBD. I didn't used to take a dropper and a half. Someone was saying I take too much. I took a few drops at the beginning, but it wasn't enough and I had to keep increasing, you see? So when you're trying to fix an internal problem with an external solution, you're never going to fix it. You're going to mask it as a band-aid. That's fine. If people want to take CBD the rest of their life, more power to them. I probably will continue to do it as well. However, I need a little something extra, extra. So if you've suffered from very high anxiety, this is why I'm sharing this with you. It's not talked about a lot anywhere, including on YouTube. There's very few videos on it. So I did something called and I'm doing it now. I had my first treatment yesterday. It's called neurofeedback. Uh, neuro, so biofeedback is something where um, basically, like I have a breathing machine that's biofeedback. It's giving you prompts so you are aware of what your body is doing biologically so you can make adjustments. Like with your breathing, it will basically kind of encourage you to breathe longer, deeper breaths, right? That's an example. Neurofeedback is working on your brain. So there's two forms of it. The real neurofeedback, it's, it's a traditional neurofeedback, is where you uh, have an EEG machine, um, uh, different electrodes attached to your head. Before this is done, somebody has done a brain map on you. So they've done the electrodes on your head. They've read your brain waves. They have um, seen like, oh, this person has like, I probably have high beta activity, which means it's like that's anxiety driven. So my beta brain waves are going like nuts, right? And so they read your brain waves. They look at your brain waves compared to like a thousand other uh, subjects and they go, okay, this pattern usually indicates anxiety. Well, I know I have anxiety, but just by looking at the brain map, they would know that and they know any other issues or deficiencies I have in my brain. And then they uh, do these treatments where you have now only a few electrodes attached to your head. That has like 25 or 27 or 21 points on your head when they're doing the mapping. It's called a cute EEG. Then when you're doing the actual neurofeedback, you're sitting in front of a TV screen, you're watching a movie, and that's all you're doing, which sounds crazy, but they give you multiple, uh, some people just let you watch a movie. Others have you holding a teddy bear that um, gives you prompts. It vibrates. 
uh, I'll explain that in a second, or others also have you wearing earphones with sound. So you're, you have the visual, the sound, and the sensory. And what's happening is as they're monitoring your brainwaves. So this person, the operator has decided, um, okay, this person has anxiety based on all these subjects. So they're going to basically help you direct your brainwaves in the right direction. So it's dependent upon the operator. They have to really know what they're doing. If you get a, the wrong person, it can go completely sideways in the wrong direction. They could actually potentially harm you. So you have to have someone who's really qualified. There's no licensure for this. So you have to find someone who's in the medical field or a doctor or a nurse or a psychiatrist or a therapist or something like that. But there's people who are like personal trainers who do this and get uh, you know, certification, which that's not okay with me. I, I have a doctor doing this. So a medical doctor. So in that TV screen, so you're watching a, a, a beautiful things like flying through the trees, reaching a waterfall, something like that. When your brain is in the right brain waves based on what they determine for your situation, the screen is bright and beautiful and everything's moving quickly and flowing and just gorgeous. And when your brain is going in the wrong direction of what they determine that it should be, um, then the screen becomes dark, it becomes smaller, it's like everything goes, you know, it's like slows down, right? And so they, it's basically training for your brain. It's a gym for your brain. Like you go to the, the gym for your muscles to work out your muscles, you're going to the, the gym for your brain. And um, it's helping you, like you have to do some work in that when the screen's going black or whatever, and I don't know this because I haven't done it yet, it's hard to understand, but you have to either relax or I'm sure they'll give you some prompts to kind of help your brain like go, oh, like you recognize you're in the wrong situation, you're in the wrong brain wave, and you have to just kind of like relax to let it go back to flowing. So again, I don't know what they're prompting you. I've never been through that. I was gonna do that, but that was quite an expenditure. That was $7,000. It's uh, 40 to 60 sessions, and it's about 45 minutes to an hour session. It's extremely um, intensive. So um, you're extremely tired after. It's like working out your muscles at the gym, except you're working out your brain. So what I did was called direct neurofeedback. That's traditional neurofeedback. I have been decided on direct neurofeedback. I was scared at first because now they do the same thing where they're putting the EEG on your head the same exact way. Instead of me watching a TV program or a movie, um, you know, that basically the movie's like showing your brain waves back to you. It's like reflecting them back to you through the picture and becoming smaller and darker and all that. Um, I don't do anything. I just sit there. So direct neurofeedback, they're using microcurrent, they're putting it back into your brain, which I know sounds really scary. At first I was like, oh my God, I can't do that. I'm scared of that. But I'm so desperate um, because I'm tired of living with anxiety. This has been around for 20 years. So when I said it's experimental or revolutionary, it's because only 250,000 people in the world have done this other than me. So it's not really mainstream and well known yet, but it has been studied. It's 20 years in the making. They have seen really no serious adverse uh, side effects other than um, you can get um, mild headache, you can get fatigue. Um, you or, And the good things are you'll feel more calm and clarity and stuff. So um, I'm looking at the clock. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry, I have to be somewhere. I should have done this later. So basically, um, so that is feeding a microcurrent back in your head. This is like one to like five minute treatment. So literally what it does is the same thing. The operator who I have a medical doctor, so I feel most comfortable with that. Uh, he was an ER um, doctor. He is looking at my brain waves on his laptop and he, there's no volume like this can go higher or lower in terms of what they're giving you like dosage wise. It's just the length of the treatment. So I'm not even sure exactly what he's monitoring on his end. I know he's looking at my brain waves. I'm not sure what he's doing. It's a couple minor things. I did ask, but it's so minute, like we didn't go into it. Um, and so I'll just tell you what happened in my treatment. It was really unbelievable. Um, you're sitting there. Um, you, they don't want you to work or do anything. They just want you to kind of be aware of the sensation in your body. So what happened is literally I started feeling within seconds. He was like, are you feeling anything now? Some people online, uh, some, you know, haters or whatever, or skeptics have said stuff like, oh, this is a placebo effect. In my case, I can at least speak for myself alone. It's certainly not a placebo effect because I was feeling things in my body. It was really weird. So I was sitting there. There's a few electrodes in my head. And then I felt in my feet this kind of like warm, tingly sensation, almost like you can feel from yoga or acupuncture. And I felt like this energy like swirling in my feet as I was sitting there. And I was like, that's weird. 
And then I felt, I think I felt my upper body first briefly a little bit, and then it went to my feet, and then it went back to my upper body. It was like energy was moving in my body. Um, it was really cool. And then I did feel a little bit in my head, and I, I can't even really explain adequately what the sensation was, just warmth, tingling, like energy flow. Uh, it lasted literally a few minutes, that was it. And I was feeling like good, <laughs> okay? I was feeling like high, but you know that that he 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 joy from like being high, that happiness, but without feeling high, if that makes sense, like without feeling like gl all glazed over. I just felt like really like good, and that was it. That was my treatment. So that's literally what you do every time. Now this is only twenty to twenty five sessions. It's half the amount of traditional neurofeedback. Technically, this is not neurofeedback. Technically, they call it direct neurofeedback because I'm not a participant in it. The reason I, I did like this is because it's shorter sessions. So this is about $5,000 investment. Um, it's, it's, it's quicker to get through it. And also, it's not dependent really on the operator. Yeah, he is doing some stuff on his laptop, very minor. But with the QEEG brain mapping you need for traditional neurofeedback, uh, you're really dependent upon the person doing the analysis. If they analyze your brain the wrong way, you're basically effed, okay? So you have to be super confident in that person, whereas with this direct neurofeedback, it's really the hardware that's doing the work. So it's it's not, he, it's not really the operator. Um, pretty much probably anyone could do it, but I didn't feel comfortable with that. I wanted a doctor who could assess my condition. I have hit my head on cement before. Um, I was never diagnosed with a concussion, but I'm pretty sure what else could it be? I was at UCLA ER. Um, I told him about some other issues I have with the vertigo and stuff. And so because he's an ER doctor, or he's recently retired, but he, you know, and I checked his medical license and everything, and, and he, 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 everything he said was correct. He's never had any kind of action against him. He is um, super cool. If I'm, I'm gonna continue through the treatments with him, and if you live in Los Angeles, I will be happy to divulge who he is at a later date. I wanna continue going through my treatments, but um, so far it's been amazing. He um, practices Buddhist meditation. I, I've researched him online. He's super gentle, super kind. Um, I actually wanted a female provider because I felt more comfortable being in a room with a woman when stuff is attached to my head and I don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel so blessed that I found this man. Um, so basically, here's an example. It makes you, um, it makes you like uh, be able to recover more quickly. Like, and so when you go through 20 sessions, then the treatments are more enduring. So this wears off. Like they give you a session, it's gonna wear off. It's already kind of worn off a little for me because I felt a little anxiety again this morning. But as an example, when I was driving home yesterday, I was in a lane where it was really one lane, but it was wider and it was it was it was getting narrower. And some car went right by me. I mean, like one inch away from my 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 car, right? And normally, something like that would make me a little agitated, and I'd be like, you know, like or like they're right on top of you, and you think they're gonna hit you or something. And he said, just notice your reactions to things. And this car went by me, and it was like hey like it was like ah oh, like like and i wasn't i was fine to drive but what i mean is it was like it was like oh whatever like it, it didn't even phase me at all and i was like that's not the way i would normally react so this is already working um i was gonna do a video yesterday so you guys could see my demeanor and how like chill i was but then i was so tired and i just felt a little spacey that's another side effect you can feel spacey so uh i had like four hours after i had it done i had to lay down for like two hours, I was so exhausted, but it was like a calm, serene exhaustion, not like a yucky, you know, crappy exhaustion where you just feel worn out. It was more like this like peaceful floating exhaustion. I slept extremely, extremely well last night. Now I did take my, my CBD and I forgot to ask him, I think I'm not supposed to, maybe while I'm doing this. I know that in particular, you're not supposed to drink alcohol when you're having stuff like this done because it can definitely uh, affect um, it can affect your, um, you know, ability for your brain to basically, you know, get the help that it needs. But you should know that with direct neurofeedback, you're basically untraining your brain. So in traditional neurofeedback, you're actively working and you're training your brain with the help of this provider, right? Whoever helps you. With direct neurofeedback, you're not training it, you're untraining it. So what they're doing is they're, they're, they're basically, when you, hold on again, sorry, I have to check the time, apologies. Okay, I have like one more minute. But basically, when you're in a traumatic situation, um, your brain is frozen in time. 
everything stops it's like a computer stopping i did a video on this the other day it's like a record you know when you're listening to a cd and it goes dun 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 that sound it's like it's like stopping at the same place that's what your brain's doing when you have been through a lot of trauma because it's almost like it's too much to handle and that's your coping mechanism so what this brain wave it's it's not the same as brainwave therapy that you try and do on your own this is not even anywhere close this is on a whole other level this is you can't get this outside of here but basically what they're doing is they're kind of like putting like signals into my brain that i know it sounds scary um that are like waking up my brain it's almost like hello like stop being frozen they're trying to make your your thought your your pattern of your brain unfreeze from that same pattern that it's like da na 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 like in my beta high beta it's stuck there <laughs> So their theory is that because it works for people by doing this, it's like you're waking up the brain and getting it back to like, a, um, what's the word? Like a, a static state. Like I can't think of the word right now, but back to the normal state. So that is what I'm doing. I'm going to continue to report back as I have more sessions. Um, and that's it. So it's, it's um, unbelievable. It's a several thousand investment in yourself, but I have to say that I've spent several thousand dollars or more already on CBD because CBD is not cheap. I mean, it's like a hundred dollars a bottle or more depending on what you're getting. And I go through those like it's water because I need more and more because it's just not enough for my anxiety. A, a lot of people are not going to understand this because they have mild anxiety. So they just think CBD is going to be the end all for, for everybody. And it's not, it's great. Again, if you have mild anxiety, if you have high severe anxiety, it's just simply not enough. It wasn't enough for me. I still take it. I still love it. I still think people should get it, so don't misunderstand, but nobody has this miracle CBD that I haven't tried yet. I've tried already for, I've been in dispensaries, they're the experts. It's not about the CBD. It's a fact I have to make internal changes in order to have lasting changes. So I'm gonna get back with you and give you more info. I've gotta to run to an appointment. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something new. This is something that almost nobody ever talks about and I haven't hadn't heard about until recently. Uh, I'm so happy I found it, and I hope it's going to make a huge change in my life. So if you haven't heard the whole thing, go back to the beginning, and I'll be making follow-up videos as well. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.